Hey guys, Craig here, Made Props Fabrications. I was out with the dog this afternoon and uh, came across this barrel and thought it'd be a good video to show you uh, some of the things you can find when you're out and about. One thing about living in a major metropolitan area is there's no shortage of stuff uh, from people laying around. Um, I walk a lot by the river, Delaware River, here in Philadelphia. Um, and there's quite a few floating docks uh, upriver where it's a little bit wider and a little bit more, more calm and not as much shipping traffic as uh, there is further into the city. Um, so people, you might have seen them, they use these for building floating docks, um, obviously for boating or fishing or whatever the case may be, why you would need a floating dock. Uh, what's great about these is uh, they're perfect for collecting rainwater, which is what I'm going to do with them. Um, but you got to be careful because not all of them are clean. Um, you got to make sure that this is viable. It can hold water and nothing's going to leach into it. Uh, this one looks pretty good. It looks like it's been sealed and it looks like it's only had water and there's no odor. But I don't know that for certain yet. A um, couple of ways you can test it uh, is to put some water in it um, and maybe use something like a goldfish. And see how it does. If it lasts, if it lives, chances are the barrel's pretty safe. Another thing is mosquitoes. You can let mosquitoes you know, lay some eggs in there. You'll see the uh, little larvae if you've never seen them. They're tiny little larvae that flip around in the water. Uh, but that's another good indication that this is a viable potable water container. Um, unless you know for certain, don't trust it. Make sure you test it. Uh, especially if you're finding it like I did washed up on a riverbank uh, but if it has been contaminated you still can use it for plenty of things obviously a trash can um, some people make them planters if you cut it in half you can hose it out uh, get it clean enough for soil um, you know for for flowers I probably wouldn't recommend uh, doing anything edible um, because you don't know uh, but generally speaking I think soil um, would be fine and you could also line it um, with some vinyl or a trash bag or, or anything like that that would separate your soil from your container and then you could use it for whatever you wanted to use it for vegetables so on and so forth uh, speaking of vinyl that's another thing that's a really really great resource and uh, available in a lot of um, cities and, and, and towns and things and most times you can get it for nothing. Let me grab a piece here. This is sheet vinyl from a billboard. I spoke a little bit about this in one of my previous videos. Uh, what's great about this stuff is it's completely durable, um, heavy duty, meant for the, we uh, the weather. Um, it's got some pretty cool colors in it. Uh, I know some people uh, make bags backpacks all kind of stuff out of this and that's something that i'm actually looking into as maybe another project um, down the line another video uh, but it's great stuff um, i've used it time and time again for so many purposes uh, besides planners and construction and my uh my paint booth i've used it for um uh, for flats for like a stage production uh, you can stretch it out over a frame, put a little heat on it, like with a roofing torch or a heat gun, and it smooths out real nice. You can paint it a whole bunch of times and use it over and over again. And it's a great, great resource for all you teachers out there um, looking for, for good free material. Uh, this stuff is so versatile. You can use it for, for placemats and, and covering your tables. I, I mean, it's, it's limitless what you can use this stuff for. And most of the time, they're giving it away. Uh, I usually have to tell them to stop giving it to me when I go and get it. They want to put a pallet of it on my truck and I just can't use it all that fast. So usually I go and grab two or three billboards worth. Now if you look at a billboard, it doesn't seem all that big driving by it on a highway, but when you get up close to it, it's about 30 feet by about 60 feet. That's a lot of material. Um, so you can put a lot of it to good use. I actually used this one time in here in the shop I did a haunted house for my son for his birthday. Um, and we draped it all over the place and made rooms. It was really pretty cool. I'll try to post that video at some point too. 
Um, so yeah, there's the vinyl. Uh, it does uh, hold water. Um, I have used it and, and it will hold water. I don't know for how long. Uh, so I'm not sure it'd be a viable, you know, long-term solution for, for uh, maybe a pond liner or something like that. It would work because uh, eventually it would kind of seal itself to the ground and, and it would build a, a, natural, a natural sealing up with uh, debris and algae and all that other stuff. So vinyl, good stuff, great resource. Um, one other thing I always get being in construction are buckets. These came from a gentleman named Ben, who's part of the Philadelphia Mural Arts Program. If you don't know anything about that, Philadelphia, I think, has more mural art uh, displays than any other place in the world. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's pretty close. There's beautiful murals, murals all over this city. Um, if you ever get a chance, you can take a tour or just find a map and go check them out yourself. But if you're anywhere in this city, most likely you're going to run into one at some point uh, no matter where you're at there's that many it's fantastic it's a beautiful program um, and i'm reaping some of the rewards of it uh, my friend ben has graciously graciously given me these buckets i got 45 buckets for nothing uh, nothing but a handshake um, and i can put them to use all over the place of course in construction but i'm going to use them to gather dirt uh, for all my planters um, and maybe even use some of them as planters. They're great for bucket gardens. If you're looking to do a tomato plant, you know, just a couple of things. Uh, they're great for that. Uh, perfect size, easy to manage, easy to store, easy to clean up, all that. Um, I always have a great fondness for buckets uh, and containers themselves. It's one of the most crucial things man ever invented. It allowed him to travel away from his resources. Uh, and away from, from resources themselves. So I got a profound respect for them. Uh, as maybe as silly as that sounds. So there's buckets. Now the other thing too that I have set out and that I'm using for my planners, and I'll be doing a video on those as well and how I came up with the idea for those. That's actually incorporating this, this wood and the vinyl. Um, pallets, 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 pallets. So many pallets out there. And available to you. I'm fortunate that my uh, next door neighbor is an HVAC contractor so he gets steel delivered on these big heavy industrial pallets which come with these two by four oak runners. Uh, this is obviously a piece. Um, generally they're eight foot long and I'm going to be using those for my hive stands. Um, once again another video down the line. Um, free material is always great. I, I Try to do my best to get as much of it as I can to not only help eliminate some of the trash, but also to uh, save myself a buck and to uh, show people that, hey, there's a lot of stuff out there for you at your disposal. You just got to go out and get it. Uh, pretty soon we'll be going to get our dirt. I'm going to be going to a couple of different places throughout the city that give it away for free, some recycling centers. Um, I'm doing some short videos there as well. Um, as well as going to go get it wherever I can get it. A lot of times you can find uh, free fill dirt, free topsoil, um, everywhere. Uh, a great resource now is obviously the internet, Facebook Marketplace, uh, Craigslist, you name it. Any of those, any of those resources uh, are out there and, and readily available for you to use and to gather some of this kind of material for absolutely nothing. Thanks a lot for watching. Stay tuned for some more videos coming up.